After historic amounts of snow crippled the MBTA and forced its closure Monday evening and all of Tuesday, ensuing backlash and criticism have led MBTA General Manager Beverly Scott to send in her letter of resignation. If the person is already in the job, is doing the job, then that's fine. I'm okay with it. If they're not doing the job, then obviously they need to go. And the first whiff of criticism, she left. She quit. With limited service resuming Wednesday, Boston area residents, including Governor Charlie Baker, have deemed the MBTA's recent operations as unacceptable. I think there needs to be some sort of accountability for timeliness. You know, people need to be places. I mean, people have to be at work, and there are some businesses that are now saying you have to have a car for us to hire you because the T's not reliable. Um, I don't have any, you know, issue with Mr. Baker saying that service is unacceptable because... This is just a reality, this is what it is. She didn't finish out the term. I mean, I didn't make her quit. Governor Baker didn't make her quit, she quit on her own. But we got a lot of people out here that are being served. I mean, it's just, that's the reality. Scott's official last day in office is slated for April 11th, though in the meantime, she says she'll do everything to ensure a smooth transition, which includes bringing the T-service back to normalcy. In Brookline, for BU News Service, I'm Peter Zampa.